Hello artists! It is so good to be back with you today. I have missed you guys. I did not get to drop a new lesson for you last week and I think you all probably know why. Um, because of the tornadoes. Did you guys have the tornado come close to your house? The tornado came very close to my house and it knocked our power or electricity out for days. I just got the electricity back on in my studio here uh, two days ago. So I was not able to have any electricity to make you a video. Because of that and because of the tornado and all the damage that it caused and all of the feelings that we might be having about it, we're going to do something a little different this week. Usually on Mondays, you know, we start with the lessons about our um, countries. And we were going to start drawing St. Basil's Cathedral this, well, last week, and then color it this week. Instead, I'm going to switch up the Monday, Thursday this week, and we are going to start by drawing a tornado today. And then on Thursday, we will start with St. Basil. So I kind of swapped the the order of our lessons this week. And I'm going to go ahead and drop on Thursday both the last week's lesson and this week's lesson. So you can do them both this week if you want, or you can do it later on. Don't feel like you're ever getting behind on your work with me. This is for you to do whenever you want. I'm just trying to be very consistent and put lessons up on Mondays and Thursdays so you know when to check back for new stuff, but you don't have to do it on those days. Now, I hope that all of you are well and safe after the tornado. I live in East Brainerd and I have seen so much destruction. The, the, the tornado tore up a lot of things. It tore up a lot of homes. Several of my friends don't have a house anymore. I was very lucky and blessed and my house is okay. My animals are okay. My family is okay. And I hope that the same is true for you guys. Now, several of us lost things that we love, possessions, um, parts of our homes, and it makes us feel a little um, nervous or scared or a little odd. So we're gonna draw the tornado today in case you have a hard time talking about things like that, and you can draw how you feel about the tornado in there. If the tornado did not come to your part of Chattanooga, then you can have even more fun with this lesson and imagine the kinds of things that might swirl around in a tornado near you. And so I'm going to get us started with our tornado funnel. That's what you call the, the actual swirly whirly part of the tornado is it's kind of shaped like a funnel. So here's our paper and we just draw in pencil, pen, whatever. A tornado is not that hard to draw. You're going to start with a big curved line at the top of your page. Now I'm putting mine a little bit more over to the right than the center because I like things a little off center usual, usually. And we're going to come down. Now it basically has a shape that comes down like a cone or a little funnel. I'm going to bring mine down and swirl it around to the left a little. But the thing to remember is the edges are a little jagged. Do you see how that's coming down? Kind of jagged. You can't mess this up, artist, because it's not a perfect line. There's no way to mess it up. I'm just coming down a little jaggedy on the right, a little jaggedy on the left. And you see how I'm getting narrower? At the bottom, I'm gonna swirl it over to the left a little bit. So there goes mine. And there it is. So it's a funnel coming down and there it is. Now, it's very skinny at the bottom. I'm gonna have it come into a little piece of ground. And my ground had a little hill. Now I'm gonna put another hill behind it that's gonna go whoosh, and it's gonna kinda come down and back up over there. There's my funnel coming down. Now here's what's gonna make it look really like a tornado. Notice our, our line is curved because this is a round, swirling thing. 
Our lines that we're gonna put on now are gonna be curved also, but they're not gonna come all the way across. I'm gonna come across part way. I'm gonna come across, I like to dot a little bit like there's stuff. See how it's kind of, kind of coming. You have more lines kind of coming across there. See how that makes it look like it's actually swirling a little bit. I'm gonna come off this side. Maybe there's a dot there. I'm gonna bring some more, some dots. See how that's making it look kind of like it's swirling, guys? So I want you to focus on that. Get some dots and some dashes and some little, tell you what, dots and dashes are one of my favorite artist tricks. I do them a lot and I kind of went all off the left on that. I kind of like it. I'm gonna put a few dots over here though. Maybe a few little lines. And that's showing my, I'm trying to make my tornado look like it's really turning. Now, when the tornado is doing that, what's making it happen is high wind, lots of winds. So the next part is, and it's kind of swirling around this funnel. So I'm thinking of the planet Saturn. You know how it has rings around it? I'm thinking that the wind will be kind of coming around it like the rings that go around the planet Saturn. I'm gonna put a little bit more stuff around the top, like that stuff is just kind of almost bursting out the top. Now I want you to think what kinds of things might be swirling around your tornado I'm gonna tell you some things that I saw that had been up in the tornado. I saw branches off the trees. So I'm gonna draw right here a branch from a tree and maybe it had that little part that shoots off the side. I saw branches off the trees. I'm gonna put another branch over here. It was kind of jagged because it just broke right off. It's crazy to see big, strong, magnificent trees that have just been uprooted right out of the ground, isn't it? But those winds that fly around are very strong. I'm gonna stop that one because it's, it's behind the tornado now. You know what else I saw? And if you didn't see anything, if you live in an area where there is um, no tornado damage because the winds didn't get that high by you, Fabulous, you can imagine and draw whatever you want, okay? I'm going to draw what I saw plus some imaginary stuff, but I saw a car, a car that had gotten picked up from one place and moved to another place. And it was sitting straight up regular, but it, it was in the middle of the, in, of the roundabout in the road. So I'm gonna put a little car right here because I think it got beat up in the tornado there's its wheels, and it had kind of gotten picked up. All the windows were broken out. Isn't that crazy how the wind just blew so hard? It blew that out. And there's the car, and let's put some headlights on it. And I'm gonna put some little action lines. See how that makes it look like it's flying a little bit? And you guys know how I like dots, so I'm gonna put a few dots. Makes it look even more action-y, I think. You know what else I saw was windows, like roofs got blown off, right? So we saw roof roof pieces and shingles. Maybe you saw some little shingles flying around or you see them laying on the ground after. Where did you guys hide out during the tornado? We went down to our basement. My two dogs, my cat, my three children and my husband and I, we all went down to the basement and we sat under the stairs and we sang songs during the tornado. What did you do? Or were you asleep and didn't even know it was coming? You know, that happens. I slept through a tornado one year. I guess it was back in 1990. Hmm, my daughter was little, three, so she was born in 98, maybe, maybe 2001 or something. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was very close to my house. It blew part of my roof off. And can you imagine my whole family slept right through the whole thing and we had no idea there was even a tornado going on? Craziness. Miss Strickler sleeps like a 
baby or like a rock. I don't wake up very easily. But this one, I knew it was coming and I was watching for it. So we all went to the basement. A window. I saw windows in trees. So I think a window blew off the side of a house and was in the tree. So before that, it was probably flying around in this funnel and then it got psh, stuck over into a tree. So you guys can draw anything that you want. I'm thinking that, I don't know about you guys, but I don't always leave my house very neat. I often leave my bicycle out. I know I shouldn't do it, but I leave my bicycle out in the driveway sometimes. So I think if I had left my bicycle out, it would have probably been doing what? Swirling around in that tornado, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna pretend like I left my bicycle out. Cause I want you guys to see, you can draw anything you want swirling around in your tornado. I'm gonna stick with the car I saw, the imaginary bicycle, shingles, trees, windows. If you weren't in there, you can imagine anything in the tornado. You could even just draw all your favorite toys swirling around in a tornado. If things of yours that you owned, some of your um, house got messed up or a tree fell on it and parts of your house maybe got thrown all over your yard, maybe you draw that swimming around or flying around in the tornado. Maybe that'll help you to um, understand what could have happened and maybe it'll make you feel a little bit better. You know, when I draw things, even things that make me uncomfortable, somehow they make my heart feel a little bit better after I draw them. So I'm hoping this exercise will help you guys. I'm gonna go back to my road, to my hill now, and I'm gonna make a road. So I'm gonna think that a big road is coming right here and it's going up over this hill. Now remember, things that are closer are wider, so I'm gonna have my road be pretty wide there and it's going up over. And I'm gonna have the road kind of, remember as it gets closer, those things are gonna get bigger. And now I'm gonna have it kind of coming up like that. Like there's the rest of the road going way far away. And maybe there's some clouds up in the sky because the sky was very dark because the clouds were up there and it was dark. So I'm gonna draw some clouds in my sky. And I think that's about it today. I wonder what you put in your tornado. Feel free to have your um, responsible adult um, send me a picture or you just draw it. I kind of like mine black and white today, but feel free to color it with crayons or colored pencils or markers or whatever you want. But I hope now you know how to draw a funnel. You know how to make things look like they're curving in space as they go around the funnel. You know how to make action lines, kind of like the rings of Saturn. You've learned how to make some dots to kind of show a little um, advanced graphic technique. And then we've drawn some things swirling around. I hope this has helped you to make sense of the tornado and how you feel about it. And then don't forget to come back on Thursday when we will start St. Basil's Cathedral. That is that one that almost looks like it has Hershey Kisses on top of the buildings in Russia. It's beautiful. And I cannot wait to show it to you. I hope you guys are safe and well. I have said prayers for every single one of you this week. And I miss you very much. I will see you on Thursday and keep drawing. Please draw something new every day. You'll be amazed at how much it will help your mind and your hand and your brain get better and better with drawing and your skills. Be creative, draw every day, and I will see you on Thursday. Goodbye, artists. Take care.